Hey guys, it's Formula Cavalcam, welcome back to Bohemia, to Bohemia, and we are about to start the war with Byzantium, because, well, they are our enemy. And, uh, yeah, we have defensive plus two stability, so why not invest it in Constantinople? Boom. Maybe something has been changed. Maybe something will prevent me from doing this. But I don't think so. Let's increase the spending. Let's send them over there. Hungary will give me access. And everything will be beautiful. Even the autoderps should. Actually, it went down a little bit. I think we will get there. Eventually. We could hire... We actually do have a diplomatic reputation advisor. Doesn't matter. Maybe they will give it to, <laughs> to Byzantium so we can get there. I can't really expect. Also, uh, the attrition isn't good, I've heard, so let's split them in half. I know it hurts, but only for, for a second. And let's ask for some military access. Do we have the thrust modifier as well, I wonder? Mm -mm, no. I don't know why the Ottomans don't thrust me, but we will thrust some sort into their literally in their heart. So there is a there is a fort over here and there is another one in Morea. So maybe I will be able to you show you the fancy new uh, fort stuff. There's another thing you can see as my guys are moving to the next province. When they get past half, you can't change their movement. Even though it looks like it's less than half. It's half the way to this province. And you can see this lock. It looks kind of confusing because it looks a little bit like they are like retreating. But that's not the case. Also, we are not... You don't have any dude. Let's hire a guy. I don't want to lose my king. He's pretty good. So let's do this. Like, okay. I guess the maneuver will help with the attrition, but he's not uh, nothing fancy. We have to win using our numbers. And I guess, ooh, okay. Let's avoid that. Okay. Hopefully, Autoderps will give us the access. There we go. And we can now cruise straight into the Byzantine Empire and have an empire. As a vassal. Pretty good! Well, hopefully this will work. Let's hope, guys. Oh, Celestia is our vassal. It's right. We have help. I think they will... Hmm, they will have access through the Ottomans now as well. So I will park my armies over here so I can see what's what. How did I get access through them? Maybe Byzantium has it. Yep. So I have access through Wallachia. War of the Roses! Well... There is more fun from the Great Britain or England. <laughs> Losing a war, they started with France. And War of the Roses. So there's 17 regiments of rebels right there in that province. Pretty damn sweet. I'm not going to conquer the world. I have to figure out how this game works right now. And if I want to go to conquer the world, let's try to cut them off. Uh, I'm going to do it like as Castile maybe, maybe something. Else. I think he's committed. Yep. So let's jump in there and let's go there with all of our armies. I wonder where... I can't see that province, but they, there may be an army. Oh, they attacked me. <laughs> Hello. He has no shock either. And he doesn't have... Oh, he's attacking me as well. I wonder if he's already... Yeah, he's locked already. This is so good. So first, the Athens army... It was halfway there, so they were forced to attack me over here. Right? This is like open field, so this doesn't give me any advantage. But I have reinforcements on the way, and the vassal is over here as well. But they had to attack me. Usually the AI would be like two days, not one day before, but two days before. Oh, no, 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 not going there. Not anymore. And you can see it over here. The Byzantines are committed to attack me over here. So they are going to attack me. I should have some advantage in morale. I do. There's nothing really going on. We only both have, like, fire. So it should be fine. And Celestia is just casually going to siege up this province. Because why the hell not? <laughs> Go for it, Celestia! And, yeah. And we can, like, cruise, cruise through uh, the... Ottoman territory, but when we get to like... Oh, and there's another thing. It's level 1 fort. And because they have 3,000 men, we need 9,000 ourselves to siege it up. You will see, 6,000 isn't enough. See? We need another 3,000, but before that, we I want to 
I will actually only put a dude, one guy there, like this dude, for example, and you'll pull the rest back so they don't get attrition. And then you'll reinforce it. So he is not able to... Oh, okay, Burgundy is now jumping on France. That's interesting. He must be running somewhere over there. The beautiful thing is that even though this is like... This is Peninsula, so there's like a land route over there. And I love this. This is a fort, by the way, so... Celestia is doing a great job. Athens can't build any more troops. This is hills. No, it's not. It's not hills anymore. So yeah, let's attack them. Kill them. Yeah, there we go. And as this is being held, I'm a bit suspicious about the about the Ottomans attacking them. So I will send my army actually there. And this army because yeah, this this should be enough when it combines. And I'll just swap them. Because they may attack them when they are done with the other guys. I'm guessing they are doing well. Yep, they are not on the QQ's territory yet. So they are not really winning the war. Only a little bit. Actually, QQ is not involved, but it's only 14. I want to have it as soon as possible. And we are still protected by the Emperor, even though we are not allies. So, yeah, the Ottomans can do jack about this. Yes, uh, Baneru. Bohemia starts with one beautiful golden province. How about that? Okay, see, and this is nine, and now this is enough to siege it up. But we, are, we have a long way to go, because we have no blockade. And yeah, the phase is just... Yeah, it will take a while. But provinces which don't have forts only require one guy to siege them. Yeah, and this has already been like, kind of beaten up. I don't know why. It's supposed to be 2,000. Why is it only 1,200? Maybe it was. It used to be mod bolt. Yeah. Maybe they didn't have... Byzantine didn't have money for that. Okay. But, yeah. So you'll squish that. And it should be enough to send only three guys over there. So you'll shift merge. We'll leave three guys behind. And let's go loot Akea. Yeah. Byzantium. No, Byzantium. <laughs> and we only actually need, like... We could even do this. I wanted to show it to you. Yeah, we can leave these guys behind. And this is still enough to siege this province. We don't need anything else. See? A hundred percent chance that it will be. Oh, easy! Not great, but actually this is average. It's just focused on military and admin. But this is... this is... Am I right? I'm not right. Yeah, it's nine, it's nine points, so it's not bad. Could be much worse. Hopefully, easy Spodjebrat. He's young and he will rule our beautiful nation for a long time. He's 21, so let's make let's not make him a leader of an army. Uh, maybe they will become a duchy. It will actually be kind of good because as an empire you can't really switch your anything, and we don't need 10 guys over here. So let's pull the these fellas. I don't really need to loot visit uh, the Constantinople. This is another thing. There's a loot pool in every province. And as you are sieging, and even if the province is sieged, as your guys are sitting on that province, you need an army over there, you are siphoning money out of that province from this pool. It's a little bit like in the Crusader Kings 2, with the looting, with the, I think the Norse guys have this. And uh, it's based on the type of the unit you have there. And based on the numbers. So one guy, I think, is siphoning 0.1 ducat every month. And uh, one cavalry uh, siphons 0.3 ducats every month. So you can basically uh, suck it dry and then you can like piece it out. And it takes, I think, about the, uh, two years, 18 months to, for it to recover, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they are just... And the, the best thing, they will keep all their ships. <laughs> oh, this is no longer a siege. Oh, I pulled these guys. What? Oh, it was... it needed a little bit more, I think. No. Okay. That's 1400. It has to be three times as much. I'm still stuck in the in the old times before the common sense. Okay. We should be safe in the HRE. We have Brandenburg as an ally. And we can grab an alliance with... I'm still improving relations with the Ottomans. And I have a lazy di diplomat. Yeah, there is a lot of new provinces here. And this one is the golden one. Look at that. Isn't this amazing? I think it's amazing. I I would like to maybe conquer Austria. I don't, I'm not sure. Everyone likes them because they are the emperor. 
But no one is voting. For, only two guys are voting for them. Actually, Saxony has... If someone else starts voting for Saxony, they will become the next emperor. I can vote for myself now. I think. I should be. Like, he's voting for himself. I am an elector. I'm a member of the HRE. Let me vote for myself. I know it didn't work because we had Interregnum, but... What the hell? I can vote for Bosnia. There we go. There. There. Go us. Go us. And let's try to suck up to some of the... Um, some of these guys. Maybe some of them like me. Yeah, this guy likes me. He wants an alliance, but... Uh, I can improve relations with him. Just maybe you, we can kick ourselves up on the throne. And maybe even inherit Burgundy. And we, sh we should... Okay, Mus well, that's something that no one expected. Muscovy is attacking the Novgorod. Oh my god. Oh, the heavens. Well, that was quick. I guess I'm not getting that stuff. Whoa, what? What the hell? Why isn't this... Why isn't this Austria? There it is. So now it became a little bit more difficult, I guess, bordering with impos oh. uh, impossible to get there. Happy Hansel, welcome aboard, sir, and thank you so much for following. So Austria is now a beast. I will throw them an alliance if I can. <laughs> and you'll be a happy family. Simple relations with them now, shall we? Now everyone will be voting for them, I'm pretty sure. Wow, it was really quick. Three years and the King of Burgundy died. I'm I pretty sure I had a good shot at becoming the Emperor myself, but not with that. Also, why is this 100% not continuing? Uh, maybe because the Ford is still around? Maybe. Maybe because they are like protected by the Ford. Very well may be the case. I'm not going to insult them. It's just... It's just sad. Also, Narsht has been attacked, I think, right now. Be the man. Nah. We will use them. You ally them and you'll use them to eat Hungary. They will fight France for us. And Milan and Aragon and Tuscan. <laughs> Now we're actually going for Poland, so they are going to... Wow, oh yeah, they got the PU over Lithuania, so we are kind of like squeezed in there with nowhere to go, so going for Byzantium is actually a valid strategy. Look at our vassal, look at him! He's already at 14% because he had the sense to go for it as soon as possible. Yeah, I think the, the provinces around the, the around the fort are protected and you can't siege them no matter what. So I have the, the one guy there just to be like pest so they can't train troops. Train troops. I think it's our like yeah, who sides. So we will go protestant, hundred percent sure. It's sad that there is no like who side like faction. But yeah, I think it's what usually happens. Or is it reformed? I think it's protestant. I'm not going to go Catholic. I don't think so, at least not now. At least not right now. Also, guys, I'm losing connection. Oh, god damn it. Come on. Come on. Up. There we go. It's green again. Okay, okay, it's fine. It should be back up. I'm sorry for that. So we are losing manpower because we are sieging with all of our armies because we have to and it's amazing because we will in really like really soon will not be able to siege at all you know what we have the, all this money let's let's train some mercenaries for this particular reason because it's just silly oh i have too many troops i should have trained mercenaries i think we can go over the limit by like at least two but yeah this is silly. We are losing so much manpower over here. It's not funny. Oh, okay. Oh, this was protected by this fort. Nice. Uh, check mark. Come with me. Help me with the siege. 
so I don't have to use my army for that. Where is it? Supportive. Come on. There we go. So we can flip these armies around. I don't have to lose manpower. He, my vassal can lose the manpower. Awesome. Neat. Nice. And you can return home. There's no need for you over here. I guess we will move these mercenaries over to Constantinople. This will take a while, so I will swap them around. Still making money. Not as much as before. I should help. I like wasps. <laughs> Trying to get in. Oh no, Albania. No. 21%. Saint performs miracle. Well. Do we want plus two stability again? <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, is it necessary? I mean, it would be nice to take up. But it's so tempting, right? Also, war exhaustion is pretty... Oh, that's right! Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's lower our war exhaustion. This is limiting our uh, siege ability. Yeah, let's just take the stability. And let's lower this by a notch. Because that hampers your siege ability quite a bit. Now these sieges you have to commit, like, before I would throw like three guys over here and be done. Really? Silesian peasants. And that's another nice nice thing in the in the common sense. Is that you get the... You have pop-up like this when your vassal gets a rebellion. I could actually stop funding my fort. There's no danger. Yeah, let's mod ball it. I should have done that like four years ago. It would save me six ducats per month, so for per year. It's not that little of a saving. Yeah. Right there on home, boys. Whatever. See, and look how fast they sieged it up. I think I will go there. This is grassland. I don't have a leader, but my leader is otherwise occupied. He doesn't have siege. Okay, let's move in the mercenaries, and you'll flip him around, and then you'll use him over here, to help our bazaar. Poland declared war to Tony Gord. Well, there goes the Prussian dream. Uh, uh, ba -ba -ba. Hmm. I guess we are at least like looting with the cavalry. Yeah, two guys can leave. And hopefully, so mean that this army has the leader. Yeah, that's right. So let's go over there so we can teleport him uh, over here. At least a little bit of a, an edge over these peasants will be nice. And we don't need these guys over there anymore because we have the mercenaries taking the blunt of the. Of the attrition, well, blunt. Oh, we've bridged the walls! Amazing! And over here as well, fantastic! I wonder if they are at war with the Ottomans yet. No, no, they are not. The best way to do this is... Uh, Vasalize. I think. And eat the Athens. And then sell them the Athens. Yeah. It will lose our prestige, though. Because otherwise we would end up with... If we fully annex him, if we don't want to become... Like, get in the war with someone who is attacking him, someone else, we would have to fully annex him, and it would give us a vassal in the form of Athens. Hmm. So far, guys, do you like the... Oh, look at our man, boy. It's just silly. I've done nothing, I've only fought fi a couple of fights that were 100% in my favor. And, yep. Yeah. Let's build some, maybe some barracks. Oh, can we even do this? Hmm. No, we can't. We don't have technology. I think it's level 4, right? No, it's even beyond that. It's level 6. Hmm. Okay, 0%, that's nice. Oh, we killed them. Nice. So he should like me, because I defended his territory. And liberated his province. Awesome. Let's go to the capital, boys. 
Bask in your glory in the streets of our beautiful capital of Prague. There's also one more difference when you when you want to like assault a siege. This is level three fort, by the way. This is a castle. Because it's a capital city, it gets its extra extra point. But yeah, we don't actually need that many guys anymore over here. What am I doing? You only need like half. Because there's only two thousand defenders, so five no. We need six plus, so seven thousand. We can pull only three. Let's not do the same mistake. Like before, let's pull two. No, it's not enough. What the hell? Okay, so it's not based on that. Hmm, interesting. I thought it was based on the actual uh, defensive force, actual garrison, but it isn't. It's based on the maximum garrison. Mm, good to know. And I usually do this when I'm anywhere near HRE because it, of the, well, like of aggressive expansion anywhere except for the Byzantium. Civil relations with Austria. Let's to top him off. Should grab an alliance. Yeah. And who else? I guess we can improve relations with... Well, Brandenburg doesn't like me that much. He desires some of my stuff, so it'd be kind of nice to improve relations with him. Still improve relations with the... Oh! Did I get the mission finished? I think I forgot. Yeah, I forgot them. Yeah, let's pull over here. Now let's go and ally Brandenburg. Uh, improve relations with... We can do both. Uh, so they like me a bit more. Like, we have all these modifiers. They have won two provinces and that's minus 106. Six. I would really like to ask a Paradox developer how this is calculated because there's no explanation anywhere I wanted to see. I wanted to find it, but there was no explanation. None. No way to know. We'll actually have some access to C as well through Byzantine. Because we are completely landlocked right now. Okay, so let's drag this these fellas over here. And let's use them over there as well. So we can pull our regular guys back. No, 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 come with me. There we go. He's faster, I think, because he is a leader. You guys go away. Uh, oh. oh, that's right. Oh, at least you can do this. <laughs> 930 days. Finally, the Byzantine capital has fallen. I need a diplomat like yesterday, but you'll get it tomorrow. And let's let's figure out the peace deal, shall we? So I know you don't like me all that much, Byzantium, but we will go with vassalization over here, and I would like that province for hmm. come vassal. I wonder what happens. Oh my god, this costs 123 diplo. That's another change. That's another change. Vassalization costs you based on the development of the provinces. Wow. Anyway, I want that. And I want Athens myself so I can sell it or give it to him. I think he has a core there. Yeah, he, he does. So this would be great. I can return him the core as well. This may work as well, yeah. He hates me quite a bit. Eh, it'll go away. So Athens and that, it's 156 zip of power. Do we want to test if this if this exploit still works? If we can limit this to 100 or not? Let's try this for science. So if I... I wonder if they fixed it. I didn't really dig deep into that. I could also take some of their money. Is it worth the inflation? Mm, I guess so. Probably. Well, it could give me a bit more prestige. I will then lose it because I will give him the, the core, but I think it's fair. Mazal. This will be my. I may even be able. To, will I be able to core this? Mm, I don't want to. Yeah, only guys that I don't really care about will be upset. So I will send a deal. 
And let's try to do this. Oh, I have no cultures to... I have no way to spend the Diplos to... In a way that will be able to be returned. So, I guess we are playing the Diplo. <laughs> I have no unaccepted cultures yet. <laughs> well, it's just sad, isn't it? Okay, very well. Give me. There we go. And Ottomans hate me. Oh, yeah, there we go. Thank you, Ottomans. So this is my idea, actually, core this. But would you like to buy this? Because of expansion. Yeah, this one will go away. It's fine. So... I have to wait for the diplomat to return. So this still works, if you want. Yeah, whatever. Uh, actually, not whatever. I can't return these guys home anymore. Okay. You know what? We have this province. Let's build one cock. One cock over here. I can't. Because it's not my core. Well, I screwed up so much right now. I can only turn these guys. I should have moved into the Ottoman territory this way. Well, happens. Actually, at least like two of these guys are... Uh, mercenaries anyway, so it's only like slightly less than half of our army. I wish there was a way to declare this like in exile or something, but alas there isn't. I haven't played the game in a month. And I'm really sorry guys, but it's just work and work and work. I haven't played basically anything. Maybe a, like I've played The Witcher 3 a little bit because I love that game. That book. Oh, books. All of them, every single one of them. So I guess we can sell this now over here to him. Well, this sucks. I could still call it and have some harbor over here, but I don't think it's necessary. Hmm. Ah. If I return him in the core, can I return province? How does this work? Return province. To Byzantium! Ooh! Okay! Let's try this! For science! It's not going to Athens. It's going to Byzantium. Perfect! Yeah. I will lose prestige. There we go. This is a bit weird, but... Now it's fixed, and he hates me much less. Return the province to us! Plus 25! And he's loyal as well. Awesome. Nice. So, now we have a really small army over here. Maybe someone will join our war against the Ottomans or something. <laughs> I really screwed up, guys. I screwed up so much. They are neutral, though. But they hate us quite a bit. I wish there was a way to return home. There is none. Eight of our beautiful guys are stuck there. I don't have manpower to replace them. At least no one will pester me about the alliances anymore. I wanna be the Boshi, welcome to the stream. That's pretty neat. It's the nice beautiful realm we have right now. Now paying us almost a ducat, look at that. It's amazing. Hmm, 38. I could do this. But I want to annex them, so let's 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 work on that. Kinda in a pickle over here in the middle of the HRE, as per usual, especially with our half of our army down there. Isn't there a way to declare this war like in exile, to exile it, other than attacking the Ottomans? <clears throat> I guess we just have to fight our way to our, to a port to re rescue them. Poland can into space, pretty sure they can, look at all that. They got their PU, they got everything in the back. Let's ally Austria. Let's see what we can do with that first. Uh, do we have relations slot? I think we should. No, we don't. No relations slot. Oh yeah, we have the access through Hungary. That's fine. We'll revoke that. Although... You hate Poland? No, you don't. You hate Poland. And the Ottomans. Maybe it would be better to ally the Hungary. Mm. 
against Poland. I don't think we can do it together though. Do at least hate the Ottomans? No, he doesn't. He hates Venice. That's all. He will never join any of my wars. Hmm. It's an important question. Let's go with the Emperor. Let's cancel the access. I should have moved them outside of Constantinople. That was a novice mistake. I don't want Habsburgs on my throne. Sorry. <laughs> 18 guys, just, just like half of all of my men are gone. For good. Protecting Constantinople. And they will take attrition, I think, pretty soon. No, 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 it will be fine, but... Yeah, I wish I was... I had a transport. Like one. One would be enough, right? Mm -hmm. Just one. So two guys are voting for Austria. Hmm. I'm not even in the runner, runners up. I don't know why. I never understood this. This needs more explanation. They prefer Austria. We have only 138 points. How did, I don't know, Wittenberg got 287 points? Hmm, that's interesting. Interesting. Well, we will be able to disband them. Those guys in Constantinople when we annex Silesia. At least a couple of them, so that will all be a 100% bust. So also, uh, I don't think they are a prince, but this will still upset the HRE. But it will give us a border with the Poland. Oh no, they are, uh, that's right. So Poland will be pretty strong. Attacking the Teutons. Uh, Poland is my rival and Lithuania is their puppet, so I can't do that, see you waffles. I'm sorry, I can't. Okay, so we gained our beautiful Byzantine coastline, so we can go there on holidays, and they regained their beautiful Greek monuments together with Athens. So I integrated this province for them. I'm such a nice person. Anyway, I had to force the Athens to do it, and for that I had to attack the Byzantine and vassalize them. But it was my ultimate goal, was returning that province to them. Anyway, until next time, bye-bye.